to say I'm not nervous right now is an understatement. <laughs> Can, the so, uh, the sorry. Off. sorry. So we went <clears throat> went to Top Golf, left at three forty. Sorry's gonna fucking suck. <sighs> no, no, it's, it, it's gonna be quick. We left at three forty. I'm driving home, and to go home, you gotta pass Jake's fifty eight. And I went into Jake's fifty eight. <laughs> That's why you're you late. went into Jake's fifty eight. Yeah. Where'd you play? Uh, I won seventy five on blackjack and roulette, cashed out. Hell yeah! I was with a buddy of mine, and uh, I cashed out at the service, at the the cashier, mm-hmm. and he was behind me. So as he's waiting, I had she gave me like a ten and five singles. I put the ten and five singles in the slot machine and hit for two thirty. Nice. Yeah. And, and that's then, all going to be gone on tennis in the morning, right? <laughs> could be. <laughs> and, then, and then we left. I don't want to say that the you're... Itch, the itch I have right now, it's like... Uh, imagine being a crackhead and having the crack play ripped out of your mouth as you're in the middle. If I didn't have to be here, I'd still be at the... Yeah, it's called an addiction, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just about to say, I didn't want to call you this because it's, you know... Oh, a, no, he's a football and gambling addict. Uh, it's, so are you. I was going to call... How am I a gambling addict? So I, you talk about his parlays. I do the first field goal parlays for like five bucks. Yeah, it adds it's, up. It's bad, dude. Every conversation is about betting, betting. With, with anyone I yeah, talk to. Like, I didn't want to call him a degenerate, but that's... I mean, he wakes degenerate. up and does, like, cricket and tennis at, like, 8 a.m. New York Sportsbook's open. My mom wants to bet <clears> now. It's crazy. People who never would bet in their life are going to become full-blown addicts. Would they make a billion first week? Probably. Yeah, they made, like, a like a billion in, I think, two weeks. I think it was. I think it's a record. It's so stupid. I mean, you would think, with New York money, you know, these people in the city probably acting like hot shots. What's crazy is how far behind New York is. Imagine if like it was legal for five years. You wouldn't be alive. You wouldn't no. be ben, ben, <laughs> no. getting married by I'm getting, now. I'm, I'm no. getting a rain on it. I'm getting a rain on it. You would I'm, have I'm like it three back. loan sharks coming after your ass. I just can't not go to Jake's 58 as I'm driving past. You know? It's but a waste they, of being out there, in my eyes. Again. <laughs> uh, you might have a problem. But other than that, oh baby, welcome to another edition of Nerd Soup. I have the pleasure of being your host today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Grab your motherfucking spoons. This is, I'm extremely nervous to be doing this, but it's very fun. Just relax. It's just us. Just do what you do normally, but just bring up the topics. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think I could do that. But before we do that. You're like, you're like the point guard. You know, you, you gotta, <sighs> you don't really have to score too much. You just gotta pass. Oh, I'm, I'm best at that. He's Ben Simmons. <laughs> That's disrespectful, what, what you, man. What, what am I going to run out and cry? No, he, no, you, you dish out and play defense. So I'm great, but I can't shoot. Yeah. I have no good like thoughts, you're basically saying. I didn't say that. No, that's, that's where you go. <laughs> he scores. Uh, not really. He just doesn't shoot a lot. He's not a big shooter. Yeah. But I love to shoot. I love to shoot my shot. All right, whatever. So if you're listening to us, then obviously you found us. And you know how to listen, but I'll give you some more suggestions. The listening platforms are Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast, Buzzsprout. And if you want to find all these links, try Linktree. Um, before we get into the topics. The Linktree in the description. Linktree uh, in the description? Yeah, it's a nice little... Because uh, I'm not really sure what it is. I was just throwing that today. It's like, a, it's like a link, but like it compiles all of your other links. Okay. What's Buzzsprout? like a podcast it's like the, the host we use yeah well yeah um I, do, you, do you guys know what we like how we operate i just you show just, up you just show up and talk i show up when i get texted to come and that's, yeah, that's, that's basically really i try and talk but whatever and uh i guess i'll just say there's Twitter too much handles. going on behind the scenes you know yeah we let there really isn't we let the big wigs handle that <laughs> right oh keep going finish yeah no i just want to uh plug the the twitter handles i am anthony jq nash at all the platforms uh twitter Instagram, same name. I don't know if you guys want to plug yourself or do you want me to plug you guys? It's usually like okay. The um, job. We got yeah. Nerd Soup Monkey, Teddy Nerd Soup, Bo Soup, Purple Girlins. What? I'm going to. NS. NS for Purple it's, Girl. It's, NS stands for Nerd Soup. <laughs> oh, okay. I never knew that. Purple okay. Girlins? <laughs> Girlins? <laughs> yeah, Purple Girlins. I'm like, what? I thought, I thought it was some anime bullshit that she I thought lost. you don't like to uh, shout people out that aren't on. No, or no, you like to be shouted. I like to yeah, be okay. shouted. And obviously, of course, Nerd Soup, Twitter, Instagram. Um, and start commenting on, you know, the Apple podcast stuff and like, subscribe, comment on YouTube. It's starting to get a little dry, a little bit, you know? But. You think it's getting a little dry, right? I don't know. It's because I love to look fucking I, wet I, outside these past week. Think I get more wet tomorrow. It's gonna be disgusting tomorrow. Just so you guys uh, know, I'm off of work. 
Uh, nice. Congratulations. congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Applause for enjoy the, the, enjoy the day in the rain. All right. I'm off of work. I know. But you can't enjoy oh. your day because it's going to be terrible out. Oh, Jake's 58. Are you like an off day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? How do you spend an off day? Do you like to be out and about or you just like to shack up? It really depends. If it's the weekend, like if it's Sunday, I'm out and about. If it's a regular day, I'm lounging around because I'm supposed to be at work. Yeah, today actually my manager's like, don't come in. Oh, nice. And I was like, awesome. And what I did was I slept a little more, went to the gym for like three hours. Nice. Got back. Teddy, I'm, ball- I'm balling again. Yeah? We're back. All right. Back in action, baby. I'm feeling good. Let's go tomorrow and play. They're going tomorrow. Uh, no, not tomorrow. Saturday morning. I'm not going Saturday morning. You guys still go I to gotta the, work Saturday morning. the same gym that you've been always, always going this, to? Yeah. yeah, but he goes North Babel. Oh, I shouldn't say. Why is that? Well, he goes to a different location. Someone's going to try to find Teddy. Yeah. Murder. Yeah, he's, he's big time. Big time. Big time Ted. Big time, big time Eddie. Big time Eddie. All right, so uh, like I said, grab your motherfucking spoons in this bitch because we're about to get this soup started. Um, you don't like that, do you, Aaron? I don't give a shit. Uh, no, it's you tried to make it work last week, and I, I liked it. <laughs> Are you I kidding? Think, the people, I, I'm going to get that trademark. <laughs> I'm going to get that on a t-shirt. I'm going to get it going. Yeah, Lebr- uh, LeBron's son trademarking Bronald is the funniest thing of all time. Did you see that? Bro, Bronald James is hilarious. It's such a, it, I fuck, it goes so hard, though. I would go by Bronald. Bronald, yeah. But did you see that it was LeMickey James and Bronald Duck? I'm the one who put that in the group. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Well, it's, it's shocking that he actually writes in a group, right, Ted? I took what you guys said to heart last he week, and I... Uh, that was Aaron's first time texting in there in, like, three months. I took what he said to heart, and I think I should be more active with my friends. Well, thank you. All right. And yeah. your nose isn't that big. <laughs> what happened last week on the pod? Thanks. <laughs> well, well, maybe you should go listen. Yeah. No, that's you all right. Know? Yeah, I heard a lot of shit talking on the pod last week. About what? About beating me in a race again. Yeah, oh. I forgot how that got brought up, but yeah. Oh. I forgot how it got brought up. Yeah, because, yeah, you know. You guys live to down me when I'm not around. But, like, it would happen. I would fucking crush you. But, like, nothing's going to happen until you get waxed. Or you could do double or nothing. I'd rather do that. I don't, that I don't want my chest. I don't want my stomach on, <laughs> on video. Hey, you, know what's, you know what's You know what's so funny it. too? That Ruben said that we did it at Chernobyl last time. The race. Yeah. <laughs> Who said we, we, it? <laughs> Ruben said that we. Uh, Who? Uh, Bo said that we. <laughs> <laughs> we really did. And that's recruiting. I couldn't. I couldn't get. I couldn't get established. Yeah, there was too many divots. I had a bad and, start too. I, I would have smoked even worse. So now we need, we have like the budget to go into a new stadium, right? I don't have the budget to go into a new stadium. Well, just go along with the goddamn joke, will you please? Go to MetLife. Isn't this the last pod? No. Oh. Uh, no. We, so, so why do you say that in the text? Because he thinks that I'm going to get the fucking podcast canceled. Oh, okay. He's just going to do such a bad job. I don't think so. I think you're doing I think we're great doing it so right far. Right now. My think, heart is pounding out of my chest. I'm still waiting for you to lead into the first topic. Well, if I tried to, to. If it was up to me, I think we'd ditch the topics and just keep doing this. You said oh. that every- It's not up to us, unfortunately. <laughs> that, again, the big wigs handle this, but all right, let's go to the first topic. Uh, the first topic that we got here on the docket is The Lord of the Rings, The Power of the Rings premiere date has been revealed, and it will be coming out with Am- uh, Amazon Studios. Um, I mean, I don't really know too much about the Am- um, Amazon. I don't really know that much about The Lord of the Ring world, so Aaron, would you like to get into depth about what they're doing here? Ah, uh, sure. Um, I, mean, this, I mean, this one I'm definitely looking forward to. I mean, how long has this been announced for? I mean, the budget's going to be two ins- years. Yeah, the budget's going to be insane. I just want to see. I'm just ready for it already. There's so much. This hi- was the biggest budget for TV it. show, wasn't it? It's fucking insane. Bezos is like, he's doing what I said I would do if I'm ever a billionaire. Oh, 100. percent You just I would just finance like it. my favorite directors. But isn't he out? Bezos? Yeah, didn't he sell sell uh, his part of Amazon? I don't know what's going on. Or with does him. he have his greasy little paws on this as well? You know, I, he didn't leave with everyone. I don't keep up leave. with it, but you know, everyone, you know, Bezos is on a lot of people's shit list. I'm, you know, if he makes Lord of the Rings, then I guess he's all right. <laughs> he's on your good graces. Yeah, well, not the good graces. He's got to make it good though, too. Oh yeah, you of know. course. It's a nice start. I'll turn on him so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what is this about? What are they yeah, doing? Yeah, I forget. Here? Where was this? Is this before or after the movies? Because it's it's based off the movies, isn't it? Before. Or, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, what, what's it, the fall? You have this and uh, House of the Dragon coming out, so it's going to be a Yeesh. fucking... That's going to be a duel. Big year. I think they're definitely going to like try to separate it. Uh, I don't know if House of the Dragon has a release date yet, but you got to imagine that. I know it's Game of Thrones. Oh, like any of them. I think it just makes smart business like just to not want any of that smoke. Imagine if Season 8 Game of Thrones came out like it was like amazing. What and then, mean? like, if, game, if, if oh, season yeah, eight if season came eight out, was good. it was amazing. Like, I the think hype... it helps maybe that like it's not 
Uh, maybe not. not. Maybe it doesn't help. Like a, like a people, redemption story. Yeah, it didn't lose. Everyone likes a good redemption story. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, it, yeah, I don't really know too much. It was in the second age. I tried reading the books. I got through the first one and reading up on the lore. There's just so much. Yeah. I know Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire has a lot, and I pretty much, like, I don't know if I have enough room in my brain to really know that history as well. Because I already have, like, world history. Yeah. And then I have <laughs> Song of Ice and Fire history. Okay. Are you talking about the actual planet, history. or are you talking about the Lord of the Rings world? No, no, like our, our <laughs> history. Our globe? Yeah, I took, okay. the, you know, remember high school? Yeah, but I didn't learn dog shit from high school. I always liked history. Dude, I'm looking at this cast list. I don't know anyone on here. No, it's a pretty, like... I love that, uh, to, if I'm being honest with you. No, I think that's, like, a good thing. I Me think too. a lot of these good shows, I mean, going into Game of Thrones, I know uh, people recognize Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings, but even Lena Headey, but there was, like, was Mar- Mar- Was Gaddy, but that big before Game of Thrones? Not necessarily, no. He was in a couple roles. He was familiar, but, you know, a lot of the... As the seasons progress, you know, at the end at the end of the day, it's Kit Harrington and Amelia Clark who yeah. were relatively no names. Richard Madden, you know, they all got their starts or, or gained their popularity through that show. So I think that's a great route to go. You don't want it's Lord of the Rings. You don't need a huge star. Maybe one. I think a lot of shows and a lot of a limited series have been doing the thing where they cast the big the big name. You know, Sean Bean or uh, Rosamund Pike in the Wheel of Time, which if this is anything like a Wheel of Time, the series is doomed. It's another Amazon show, but uh, that's a different <laughs> story doomed. for a different day. You said it's doomed. If yeah. it's anything like that, <laughs> it actually wasn't that what wasn't that bad. But yeah. I have to imagine that you know, nerd suit fans or just nerds in general biting their lip listening to Lord of the Rings and House of the Dragons come out at the same time. It's gonna be like they got to be hot and bothered right now. I'm hot and bothered right now. I mean, I could take care of you, Daddy, if you'd like. Sure. All right. Yeah. Don't, don't make offers. No. You're not going to, like... No. I mean, I'm not going to do a mid-pod, but, but I can help. I, I can definitely help. Watching. You're going to cuck it? <laughs> Real weird. All right. Well... Uh, but, yeah, they released some, like, posters. Uh, just a bunch of hands. A lot of, people, a lot of people's hands in the posters. So... Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, um, like I said, I don't know cat piss about Lord of the Rings as much as I would love to start watching the... Watch the original movies, extended editions, only four hours, so like... Only four yeah, hours. The, the only set piece we saw was that one picture that got yeah. released a while ago. It looked oh. fucking amazing. It does. Um, but everything about the show leading into it, I mean, I think like... I don't think it, the hype chain has really started to roll, but once it starts nearing and we got a trailer, that first trailer is going to be fucking massive. So what's... So... I already know how it's going to go. People are going to be like, oh, look how amazing it looks, look how great, and then there's going to be like, oh... Why are they doing this? this yeah, is stupid. I'll leave it where it was. Yeah. No, it can't be like that. So are these pictures that they released? What like you mean the... it can't be like that? It's like that with everything. I got faith in this. Me too. <laughs> no, it can't be like that. Are these no, I... <laughs> are these pictures like the? Are you ever on the internet? No. So right now, are these the uh, the pictures that came out? Is this the crossing tracks? The the signs coming down? You know, the trains gonna start building. We're gonna start getting more shit coming out from this show. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna start because I think we got the, like. From the past few months, we've been getting a little, a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. I would expect a trailer by. Give us a fucking Super Bowl trailer, Ooh. Bezos. You got all this money. Let's see it. I don't believe you. Yeah, <laughs> stack up. Let's go. Oh, you're rich. <laughs> Prove it. Do a five minute ad at the Super Bowl. Oh, five minute ad. How much do you <laughs> think not? that would cost him? Honestly, isn't it like a million dollars, like a minute or a su- second or something like that? I think it's a million dollars for thirty seconds. So if you're doing five minutes. I'm terrible math. <laughs> 60 divided by how much? <laughs> this is, we're supposed to be like nerds. We're supposed to be smart. It's $10 million. All right, there is you it? go. If it is a million dollars for 30 seconds, is that a five-minute ad. You oh, can, my God. You, you want to ch- check me, please? You can. <laughs> so for 30 oh. seconds, so it's 30 seconds is a million, so a minute would be 2 million right. times 5 is 10. What would you say? I said 10. He said 10 million. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's chump change. Jesus Rim. Christ, I'll sign off on it. <laughs> And you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm terrible with math. I don't care. It could be simple math. That's actually my best subject. I actually really liked math. Math was your best subject? Oh, you're just a fucking I knowledge wizard over here. Oh, history. I just right there. It was, like, it was like puzzles. I don't like when Bo's like not a, here. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Why? Because he, he's top dog. Yeah, he's top dog he, right yeah, now. He's top brain here. It kind of sucks. Because I know simple math. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and I took history in high school. I'm really flexing my smarts today. Um, okay, you're real cool. You fucking studied in school, nerd. Yeah, 
geek. I was watching 21 Jump Street. And that's, that's like one of the things he said. It's like, you want to be cool. It's like, just don't try. <laughs> but he said, oh, look at this guy trying. <laughs> trying, studying, right? Yeah. That's a fucking funny movie. And I watched A Bug's Life last night. Another That movie is so fucking funny. I was Bugs dying Life? laughing <laughs> watching A Bug's Life. That's because you're a clown. <laughs> is that from that or Ants? That's from A, a Bug's Life. Bug's Life, right? Yeah. He's like, I oh, that's I because I have a prop. It's like, oh, I, lo- I love that, that like little snippet. But, all right, let's get to the next topic. Um, yeah, bull- Bully Bezos online to make him drop a Super Bowl trailer. Should we do hashtag Bully Bezos? That might, nah, catch, on. Actually, no. that might catch on, dude. Bully, Bully Bezos? Bezos? Bully Bezos. Yeah, but then people will turn it into like him like an anti-capitalism thing which is true and fair game but I'm more I'm more I'm more worried about Lord of the Rings yeah but the ironic twist about it is nerds bullying Bezos you know that the nerds oh. always get bullied you know yeah now that it's like revenge of the nerds kind of is he a nerd still Bezos yeah 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 no like Zuckerberg's a nerd that's no, like a Zuckerberg's, nerd but like they're rich yeah, but it, you see Bezos, he's trying too hard lately. Like but he looks good. Tr- Zuckerberg looks like a nerd. You see Bezos and you're like, yo, he's fucking fresh. Yeah. You look at Zuckerberg, his curly hair, pale, flip-flops and jeans. Yeah, he looks like Pitbull. Who? Bezos? Bezos. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that picture with him with the girl? <laughs> well, Open chest? Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg is... I don't even know about him. I mean, he's a fucking... I think Zuckerberg lives in like a $4,000 house. <laughs> Zuckerberg? Yeah. I... <sighs> There's something about Zuckerberg, man. It's just, it's so uncomfortable. It is very uncomfortable about that guy. Bring I mean, back, I'm not stating anything out of the obvious. Bullying. They need to be put in their place. <laughs> yes, they need to be. Yeah, you don't get to be rich and ruining just not the here. fabric of society and not giving us our trailers that we wanted the Super Bowl. Exactly. Go, I mean, but, importance. I don't know. Pretty close. I would say so. All right. So we got the next uh, topic on the docket. Um, the Rock has been rumored to be in the Call of Duty movie. Um, you know, Dwayne Johnson, you know, I just don't think fits into this role at all. Why? Of Call of Duty. What do you mean, what? Just look I at mean... Him. He fits in any role he wants. Uh, I don't think so about this Call of Duty. I mean, They've I get that... have been trying to make a Call of Duty movie for years. Yeah, it was that in the Gears of War movie that they were trying to... Gears of War would be sick. Oh, that storyline alone is amazing for the video game. He actually looks like a Gears of War character. Exactly. <laughs> and it's funny, that's what Bo wrote in the notes here, that he thinks that you know, The Rock would fit better in Gears of War. I just can't see him in Call of Duty, like, with war guys. I mean, how tall is The Rock? 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, and the what's Rock, a cutoff I, there? I thought he was like 7 foot. You think there's a cutoff? Isn't there a cutoff to get into the military? I don't think so. Why? Like, uh, there, height? There, there might be, yeah, there might be. Really? Yeah, you because stick you, out like you, a sore thumb. Yeah, you're more, you're like a bigger target. I can see The Rock on like the back of a tank, being the gunner guy. I guess. Yeah, but I just feel like you know, the, the military guys hold, holding the fucking machine. I don't think they go that deep into it. I'm not too sure. Fact check. I feel like we would want a bunch of rocks. I got it. Can you fact check? But I you mean, know, big trees fall so hard. So you man. would, yeah, and you would want a seven footer, like you know how they're in bunkers and shit. I mean, he's just sticking out. <laughs> we're, we're not doing there trench. He <laughs> it looks like a stick worm out. You think we're still doing trench warfare? Uh, I mean, if, I don't know. If you're going, <laughs> I hate to say this, if you're going into like Iraqi and cities and stuff, or like you know. You know, you're hiding behind walls. You're hiding behind things. You don't think that, you know, this, you know, the, who's a really tall monster? Yeah, you know, he's just fucking, the doofus is just out ready to get his head picked off. I don't know. I think you need a, uh, I need you, uh, I think you need, um. We're going to fact check it, so. Yeah. The cause for rejection for the armed forces male we need some units. is. A little fear factor. Height less, uh. Is height less than 60 inches or more than 80 inches? 60 inches, Ted. How tall is that? Fact 12 inches again. and a foot. 12, 24, 36. We're at three now. 36, doubled. 72. That's six Minus feet. 12. <laughs> <laughs> no, realistically, would you... I mean... He's in, isn't he? The Rock? Yeah. 60 inches, by the way. That's like... It's not six, tall. It, fact check that. What is it? 60. He said 60 inches, but I don't Below know. 60, said, yeah. above 80. Oh, below 60, you can't be in. Less yeah. than... Okay, I was about to say, like... Yeah. Okay. The cause for rejection from the, from the armed forces, male applicants, is less than 60 inches or more than 80. So you have to be between 60 and 80. But I feel like, you know, you, this is an imitation factor here. 
You need, need some inches. big guys. Yeah, I get it, but I feel like you need He's it. a bigger target. You need it, like, uh, not lengthwise, but, like, you know, bolt 6'8". That it. motherfucker to be like, yeah. Think. That's what he is? That's what 80 inches is? I think 6'8". So. Oh, you're probably in then. Uh, 80 inches to a foot. But what would you rather see The Rock playing? Would you rather see him in this Call of Duty movie? Or if they did come out with a Gears of War movie for fucking once, they've been talking about that for like years. I mean, either or. I wouldn't mind seeing The Rock in anything. I, I mean, mean, The Rock's we, attached to it. I don't, I'm I hate for. that role that he's going to be in Call of Duty. We've seen the success of video game movies. Not, not great, especially at adapting stories. Call of Duty, I guess there is a story. I haven't played a Call of Duty no one, story. But no one in, plays a campaign. Yeah, I haven't played that storyline forever, That's so not, I don't even know what... I played a campaign. Depends what storyline they do, too. they're just going to make a war movie and slap Call of Duty on it to yeah, sell exactly. tickets. Uh, 6 8 is 80 inches. Hmm. Do we find out what the rock six, is? 6 8. He's like 6 feet. Yeah, he can make it. 6 feet, 8 inches. Let me just make that clear to everybody. I said that like 5 minutes ago. You did say it 5 minutes ago. Oh, sorry. Um, you would John re- Cena, like, isn't he... He's an honorary troop. I... But isn't John Cena sh- uh, short? It's probably like 6'2", six 6'3". Six I guess that is short now, right? Hmm. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I did say the other day during the snowstorm that the uh, Uber Eats driver was, who were driving in this storm were just as brave as the troops. And I respect them and their service. That's a bold statement. <laughs> at the time, you when sure I was keep that starving... <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to make sense at the time. At the time, the I'm like... 6'5". But then no cars were going. So he's in. And I finally yeah. clicked it, and I'm like... To ready to get my order like sorry no cars available and I'm like damn bunch of cowards oh my god John Cena's 6'1 alright so they're both in I just don't see The Rock being in a Call of Duty movie I don't see there being a Call of Duty made movie made but they probably will I mean it's like rumored. I said slap the name make some money off of it The Rock yeah, those rumored. are the roles that he is that's what he does I don't, it's not even what he's best at but I don't know he fits the bill I guess. But I, I'll I'm hate surprised it. with Black, Black Adam, though, I'll tell you that. You better be playing Black Adam good. Or are uh, you going to bully him? No. <laughs> I don't want to bully him. Well, you can beat up Jason Momoa. You can't beat up The Rock. Who's bigger? The Rock is, like, the biggest actor in Hollywood. <laughs> besides, like, The Mountain. So, yeah, I, I stand by that. That you can beat up Jason Momoa? No. That you can beat up The Rock. I can't beat up... Do you guys believe me when I say these things? Yes, because I think you believe Momoa yourself sometimes. Huge. Yeah, but you also had that, that that you could guard Chris Paul, and you truly do believe that. <laughs> What's the, the the Pat Bev thing? <laughs> oh yeah, the dog. That's or, in my head. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be you. And Chris Paul is just gonna fucking turn you into a twister. I, I mean, pay, I'd pay money to see that. Oh yeah. my god, for charity, that would be great. Not even for charity, just for my own enjoyment. How much would you pay to see that? Not, not, not too much. You're both deflecting on me right now, and I don't like it. We're not... Mm. I, I, we're getting off topic, and it's just getting okay. tagged on me. Okay. All right, yeah, sorry. I'm getting so, wrong through the calls right now. I, I think he would fit better in the in the Gears of War movie. <laughs> Your vocabulary is priceless. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> projecting. That's, that's what I was... Yeah, I mean, if we were projecting or deflecting, that would kind of mean that we think that we could... You know, our, we're insecure in the fact that you are. We can't guard Chris Paul, so we're putting it on you. But <laughs> me and Nash are like, know that we can't. You gotta believe in yourself, though. You guys have no faith in yourselves. <laughs> True. I mean, I'm having hard times guarding guys at LA Fitness. You think <laughs> I'm gonna guard Chris Paul? I mean, it's just rational. You know. I just switched yesterday on the kick because I couldn't guard him. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a terrible feeling. When somebody goes, hey, yo, yo, switch, switch, switch. I, no, I, I, I made it. On the softest screens oh. imaginable. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah. Not even pop, set pop, the pop, screen. Pop. The guy's just standing there like, switch, switch, switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can easily get around them. It just takes a little effort to go over I the screen. I know that feeling, though, when you're <laughs> sucking wind. You're like, <gasps> yeah, but I made the call, though. I said, I ain't guard, I'm ain't guarding this kid. Right. Switch it up. Wait, he was, he was dropping buckets on you? Yeah, he was just really fast. Okay. It's like playing recreational hockey so much better than basketball because you can just head to the bench and sit down for a little while the game goes on. Being on the court the whole time sounds miserable. But yeah, this is just still rumored, but I wouldn't mind seeing The Rock in a Call of Duty movie. I like The Rock, but... That, I just don't see it being I'm a still good still waiting fit. for his Oscar movie. And we're still waiting for Black Adam. you Adam's, think he's going to so. get an Oscar? I want No, but I want him to try. Ugh. I feel like that would be interesting. I thought it was going to be with Skyscraper when he, there's like his oh, the opening trailer and he put on his prosthetic leg. I'm like... <laughs> He's going in for he's a, deep be a deep one. one. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, 
<laughs> but he was just the rock with the prosthetic leg. Literally. But doing everything else the rock can do. Exactly. Um, you didn't think no, he was going to get it a rampage? I want one when it's like, I don't know. He just, I don't know. He needs to like dig deep. It's something really depressing. He's not that kind of, he's not an actor though. But like, I want to see him try. And you know what's so weird about the Do you the want rock? to see him try so we can <laughs> fail and you can make fun of him? No. For I, doing it, then you can say, just stick to the big movies, the big blockbusters. I just want to see what would happen. I mean, it works for him. I mean, he's one of the top grossing Hollywood actors. I mean, why why is he going to go out of his element? And what, he fucking bombs and then he embarrasses himself too? But what if he does really well? Play the well? games that you win. And everyone's like, wow. You know what's Didn't so- know The Rock had this in him. You know what's so weird about The Rock? Does he do any sex scenes? The Rock fucks. Like it's in a- any movies, I feel like he has no sex scenes at all. It's implied, why, would he have, why would he have sex scenes? I mean, he's muscular. It's a, it's a, I mean, he's in the rundown. Are you kidding me? That's one just, of the sauciest sex scenes I've ever seen in my life. Okay, and at the time, so we, I was so a young d- kid, and that really, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to what, feel something. This is what happens. Yeah, he may have had one in Tooth Fairy too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, he was, no, a, big, he think, was a big time football star. I don't think star. he has to. It's just implied when he's on the screen. It's like, oh, off camera, this guy's just fucking. And working out, but it's so weird. You both because, make like, me uncomfortable. Where you're saying fucking, and you're saying the rocks having sex scenes. No, because you know he's like the top handsome guy in Hollywood, and he's muscular, and you just never see any sex scenes with him. You would think that he's dogging it out, but he's not. You know, I just find it very weird. I don't know. Me too. Okay, you're well, on board with this. <laughs> why not? Well, we'll go from one man to another, or one giant man to another, but before that, we're going to get to our sponsor. Today's podcast is brought to you by Storyblocks. So, we... That's that's when the recording comes in. Oh. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, for some reason, I was just waiting for like, the Bushed recording. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait until after next story. Wait until after. I'll do it again. So I don't know if that's like a good thing to be like, yeah, I want to see the rock fuck. Brought to you by your sponsor. Okay. All right. You got it. Yeah. All right. So we'll go from one man to another. Oh, fuck. We'll go from one colossal man to another. And this story is with Jason Momoa. This guy fucks. He is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, in the worst, um, I, in my opinion, the worst uh, franchise in movie history. A dying franchise. It, Fast and Furious. Jason Momoa being in Fast and Furious, uh, the 10th one, which is, I mean, 10 too many, but... Um, no, no, no. They're at like... First They're at like all, four too many. Six is when was a cutoff for me. Six? Yeah. That's when people like, argue, they've arguably gotten better since then. <laughs> no. What? Yeah, it's ridiculous what people... Uh, people are just idiots. They just love cars and explosions and terrible acting and carried storylines that just never stopped. The last one I liked was when they were in Dubai and they jumped from like building to building. Was that six? <laughs> I don't know, but that, that was a good one. Well, Hobbs and Shaw I enjoyed. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge Fast and Furious fan, but I kind of got re... Um, I don't know. I got a certain like, uh, I guess... Reigniting? Yeah, because of when Vin Diesel like publicly called out The Rock to ask him back that was so to stupid. Come in. See, that's how pathetic like, it little is. brother, we need you. To- oh, <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> yeah. Like, talking about his children Imagine and shit. Imagine someone brought him Paul Walker. Yeah. Imagine someone called you little brother. Especially I actually, him. I had somebody I was- uh, Somebody you don't like called you little yeah. brother. <laughs> I was walking into the, uh, the locker room the other day and like someone like kind of bumped into me, but it was like an accident because it's like a curve. And he's like, oh, sorry, champ. <laughs> like I sat there oh, for a second. Oh my God. What the hell? <clears throat> and I was like- I haven't heard that one in a while. Meaning, I, I've never been called Champ. And I'm like, I fucking love that. Champ is actually pretty cool. Champ was all, like, I, I felt good. Yeah. You know, like when, like, the like there's a Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali walks around and, like, to call himself Champ and Champ, everything? Yeah. I kind of did that for the rest of the day. That was your, and you were, <laughs> you were bobbing and weaving, I'm too? Like, yeah, okay, let's go, Champ. Let's go on the treadmill, Champ. Yeah, and it's ironic that we just went from a story from The Rock to Jason Momoa, but it upgrade, downgrade, what's... Really ironic when that's how it was planned. <laughs> I, well... <laughs> what is he? He's the backup plan. No, how like the topic list. Was oh, <laughs> oh well, yeah. I guess I shouldn't say ironic, but um, but yeah, uh, upgrade, downgrade. I mean, is this like you know the free agency signing that you didn't get? This is like you missed out on the big free agent, but like you got like a good player. Yeah, we got we signed Randall. We missed out on Braun and we signed Randall. Don't Something call like him that. Randall. <laughs> this is like um, this is like us getting. It's like the Knicks not getting LeBron, but you got Stoudemire. Like we didn't get Zion, we got RJ. Don't disrespect RJ like that. I RJ's like a man. Like Just agree with what I'm saying. Like, right. they, yeah, that they makes make total sense. sense. <laughs> yes. 
No, I like that one. I like that. We didn't get LeBron, but we got Stoudemire instead. Like, there's nothing wrong with Momoa, but, I mean, what? he's not the rock, you know? The hell did Stat do? He had a great you know, MVP was, the first he, half of the season. And he was fantastic with the Suns. We thought that we were going to get something, but he, he has, got hurt. And where, he was he after, and, and got, where was he after? Where was he after we got him? Well, he has beaver he had knees. one good year? <laughs> yeah, he's got beaver knees. He's sitting in wine in the bathroom. <laughs> or deer knees. <laughs> it's just like weak. Oh, like the yeah. like angled out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giraffe knees. Baby, baby deer knees. Yeah, that's exactly it. Like just popped right out of the womb trying to stand up and just dropping. And then he would take a red wine bath. I miss those Knicks. Very fun. But um, I don't know why anybody continues to watch these movies. And I feel like I say this every podcast. They're entertaining. They're fun. They're good for what they are. And they're getting ridiculous. They're going to go to space. You know, Come on. You want to see the family in space? Oh, I think they did go to space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They've been in space. So where are they going to go? Heaven? The moon. Purgatory? They're going to be drifting in purgatory? I mean, give me a fucking break. I would. That would be funny. They're just The series ends with Dom dying and going <laughs> to heaven. <laughs> I kind of like the way this looks up here. <laughs> Can you drive in heaven? I might be oh, a purgatory, <laughs> but I got my family. <laughs> Some bullshit like that. I mean, I guess it's cool that they got he my pulls mom. into like a garage in heaven and every single car he wants, like they, they say, well, cars go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's quite pathetic. And I feel like anybody that stoops that low to go into this movie franchise at this point in their career. What do you mean? It's a fucking payday. It is a payday, yeah. but it's a bad look. Look at look at the stars in this franchise. It's, it doesn't hurt anybody. And that, at this point, with all the drama offset with Vin Diesel, that's and, what and makes me so Tyrese mad. Crying. Yeah, Tyrese probably got it, got the shit on the stick. I feel like. But that's you what know. makes me so mad about this franchise is that it's not doing bad, and it should. Yeah, be. which that's makes what no bothers sense. me so much. How does it bother? How does it surprise you? I mean, I'm not going to see him, so I guess I don't care. I just think you're downgrading your career. That's all. I mean, Jason Momoa, he's in the same, I think, class of actor. As The Rock? The Rock, the Batistas, like, you know, they're not going to, like, they're not going to sign up for the Oscar roles. I think Jason Momoa could be, like, I think he actually has some good acting chops. But, I mean, these are the roles they take. Big, muscular Hollywood men and doing big, muscular Hollywood men. Can I blame him for taking a job? No, I don't blame him at all. He's probably getting fucking paid. Yeah, you kidding me? Yeah, but... I blame Vin Diesel well, for making ten of them. You care about your rep or your wallet? Wallet. wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. All right. Holy well, shit for money. Well, speaking about wallet, uh, before we get our, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if I was really allowed to say speaking that. Speaking about wallet. Speaking about the wallet. Um, before we get to our next topic, we just want to shout out our sponsor for today's podcast. That sponsor would be Story Blocks. Storyblocks is making it easier for creators to meet the demands for modern video content so that you can craft your personal vision or business without sacrificing time, budget, or resources. With a membership to Storyblocks, you will have unlimited all access and downloads to over 1 million assets in their Storyblocks library. These assets include 4K footage, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects, and so much more to give you everything you need to bring your vision to life. If you're a creator out there, I know you've had moments where you thought, oh, if only I had a fiery transparent template to throw in the background of this video or I need some sort of epic sound effect music to give this more of a cinematic flair. With Storyblocks you have access to all of those different types of things. That's why I found it to be it's just like an unlimited well of resources and the great thing is that all of their assets are royalty free so you can use them for personal or commercial use without any fear of repercussions or getting your video flagged or taken down. Uh, Storyblocks also has multiple plans to choose from depending on your personal budget, so you can visit our link in the description box below and see which plan, uh, see which Storyblocks plan would be right for you. Uh, like I mentioned, it's, it's just a great asset to have. An asset full of even more assets. So go on, click that link, and see if Storyblocks is something that would be of use to you. And I'm not going to lag out again. We'll get to the next story here, which is quite exciting because I am not a superhero person, but you guys are, and yet I am still excited. The new posters for the new Batman movie, looking at the characters. You got Pattinson, Kravitz, you know, all, all the good people there. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Pattinson, Kravitz, and all the good people there. All, all the good people there, yeah. Um, who was that? Colin Farrell Colin as well? Colin Farrell, Colin. Paul Dano. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, sorry. Um, you know. I don't I, think anyone has ever called Zoe Kravitz just Kravitz. Just Kravitz. I think Lenny has that. ZK. <laughs> My girl ZK. Uh, yeah, no. I think when you say Kravitz, it's still Lenny. You going Len? I mean, well, he's she's the original. A, I get it, but I mean, she's... Well, she's like a bigger star. Like, she's <laughs> making her own name, but it's Zoe Kravitz. She's a top cat right now, you know? Well, she's Catwoman. Yeah, you see what I was doing there? No, you weren't trying to do that at all. I, Lenny paved well, the way, though, so don't disrespect Lenny. No, I'm not going to just say, I Same. want to get away. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a great song. Remember Austin Powers? Austin Powers. I think he was in Austin Powers. Dude, are you a fan of this Riddler costume? I think it's pretty dope. I, I love it. <sighs> what, do you want the question marks? you want Jim Carrey? <laughs> I'm, I mean... It's more up to date this one, but you can't give me one question mark on the fucking costume. I'm yeah, sure, so, you know. I guess uh, I was. Gonna... <laughs> you know, I always love when like the first costume looks of things come out, and like people try to defend it or like justify it. It's like, oh, this isn't their final form, though. Like <laughs> it's well, not. Well, Teddy's still Actually, holding out. Be. Teddy's holding out for a cane and a question mark <laughs> yeah. green tuxedo. Listen, if he has this, I'm cool with that. Just give me the, give me the cane with a question mark on it. Okay. We'll do that for you. And you, you only pump for Robert Pattinson. Oh, yeah. Shit about I love man. Bobby Pats. It's going to be, I mean, it's a month away. It's probably the most anticipated movie of the year for a lot of people. That shit's creeping up. I just want to see, like, what story they're going to do. It's going to be long. I hope they really delve into the detectives' things. And that's what I kind of get from the vibe of the trailers, the posters, Paul Dano's costume. Paul Dano. Dano's costume. Um... I think it's it's going to be like our first real look at Detective Batman because I always tease it a little bit. To it's tease a, a detective. It's going to be the darkest Batman, I think. But that's the Batman. He's the world's greatest detective. Let's fucking see that. You see the playlist that he's been listening to to prep up for Batman? Pattinson? Pattinson, yeah. No, what? He's been listening to like The Cure, Beach House, New Order, Joy Division. It's kind of like, like that. My Chemical Romance? <laughs> yeah, kind of along those lines of like emo, goth kind of. Uh, what, what do they call that? Not grudge? Is it grudge? Not grudge. Grunge? Grunge, kind of. Grunge is like Nirvana. Does Batman catch a body? Yeah, in but song? I mean, The Cure is kind of like that, no? Kind of. I do like The Cure. But, um, Love Song is great. Does Batman catch a body? Like, does it kill anybody? Yeah. Well, Pants had said something interested about, like, why Batman doesn't kill or, like, de- diving into the philosophy of what his mindset is and his reasoning behind not killing and I think like this can be a movie where it really dies into stuff like that as good as the Dark Knight trilogy was I think they missed a lot of aspects of what makes Batman who he is and I think like obviously it's harder to do that in a two hour feature than it is years and years of comics or video games or animated movies and things like that but I don't know I'm really excited for this and I'm just I They've done a good job of, like, not delving too much into it from what they're giving us and spoiling what's going to happen. I've tried to stay away from everything at this point, so I'm just ready to just ready to consume it. You're going to tell me that he didn't kill anybody in that video that they first dropped when this first came out? He didn't beat the shit out of that guy and kill him? You know no, he what, definitely puts people in the hospital. <laughs> he knows when to stop, man. Uh, d- I mean, did you see that video? That guy's face is probably... Well, he has CTE. We're not, we're not saying that. He's going to die in 10 years from concussion-related He's injuries. Game. But yeah. in the moment, is it murder? No. I, but it's manslaughter. What? He's a better person for manslaughter than murder? Or I mean, not manslaughter, assault, I should say. Excuse me. Well, it could be manslaughter. He's causing what's going to happen for that person to die. I'm not a lawyer, but... You know, didn't you want to go to law school? Yeah, I decided not to. Yeah, real smart over here, huh? You didn't want to go to law school. No, yeah, I was all set to go, but I didn't go. I was going yeah, to, back supposed to, school. to, go to law school. How well do you know your friends? Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> being a lawman, <laughs> <laughs> being a person of the law. Um, no, I mean, I I think like I don't know from everything we've gotten out of it. Uh, I think it's going to be a real... It's a different look at Batman. There, I think it's going to be, like Ted said, a lot darker than what we're used to with the character. Um, not just in terms of, like, you know, people see a dimly lit movie and then someone brooding around <laughs> is like, oh, this is so dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, really getting into what makes the character who he is. Especially at, like, where the story's taking place so young in bat, this, bat, this fictional or this Bat story's career. You know, this is very early on Batman, so... Let's fucking get it. What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite picture out of all of these on here? Yeah, Robert. I kind of like um, Colin Farrell there, man. I, I like that look. I don't know why you don't like that look. 
I mean, I guess I have no real opinion on it because, God, what the hell do I know about the superhero world? But I think it's cool. And it, I like the fact that it really, I shouldn't say really, it looks nothing like him, <laughs> which is awesome. But people forget, like, well, I don't think people, people forget, but Paul Dano is so fucking good. Like, really, really good. I don't know if you, you've seen There Will Be Blood, right? Oh, uh, I've seen bits and pieces. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I think people who listen to this podcast are familiar with his performance there. Even in Prisoners, like, he's just a really, really good actor who doesn't get much work. And I think people are going to see this and be like, holy shit, this guy's fucking incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy from There Will Be Blood. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Wow, he was great in that, too. Let's put him in more stuff. Next thing you know, Paul Dano's taking over the world. Oh, he was world. a kid. Starring in Oscar movies with a rock. He was a kid in uh, Girl Next Door. Is that the movie with... Uh, I, I've seen that. <laughs> I don't know why. Was he in not another teen movie? I don't know why I'm thinking that. Paul Dano? Yeah. I don't know. Who was the kid that got the hand job from the sister? <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope I so now. Yeah. We'll watch that when I get home. Uh, what a movie. What an underrated movie. And it's crazy to see Chris Evans in it. It is insane. Uh, that might be... Is that the, Chris Evans' f- first role? I'm not sure. Probably not, but like one of like the first major, if you want to call it that, roles. Right. I think the funniest bit is the concussion still death they have with the, oh. the lineman. That's so fucking funny. Oh, uh, what's his name? Billy Ray? <laughs> or Bubba know. Ray or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I, for some reason I thought that was him. I, I, I got to... I can't lie. I don't know who that is. I've only seen bits and pieces of There Will Be Blood. I fell asleep. Um, You're terrible. <laughs> How do you fall asleep during There Will Be Blood? I was, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning when I put it on. Snow put it on at 2 in the morning. That's all right. It was my first mistake. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know, man. Dude, what's like the the penguins like... You act like you never goal. fell asleep during a movie. I really... Not, not in a theater. Or really, I don't start a movie if I'm too tired. I'll, I'll put on something familiar, maybe. Then when I'm ready for bed, I'll just go to bed. thought it was going to be riveting, and I just couldn't... I don't know. I fell asleep. What's the... Uh, are you familiar with Penguin's, like, backstory? Like, what's his, like, endgame? Is it to kill Batman? And they take over like, the Gotham? They like, all hate Batman. Yeah. Well, he's like a gangster. They got a common goal. He just has his own gang, and he's just trying to make money? <laughs> he's trying to get by, you know? It's right. hard out here in Gotham. <laughs> yeah. He just reminds no me of, like... Hiring. <laughs> yeah, he reminds me of, like, a, a gangster back in, like, the Prohibition era. I think like, in, like... The only... Because, uh, like, when, when I hear I Penguin, th- I just think of fucking I think uh, in the Tim Burton ones, like, his parents left him, and, like at a zoo and was like chilling with penguins <laughs> in like the sewer or something like that. That's awesome. They should bring that storyline back. <laughs> See, that's the shit the I penguin? love. Yeah. Oh, man, so. A little off topic. The penguin in Super Mario. Did you guys ever throw the, pe- the little baby penguin off the side? <laughs> All the time. I actually feel terrible doing that. It's a, the race, the, the, the big the penguin mama race penguin. is the best. What happened? When you had to race the penguin? Yeah. That's the best part in that movie. Uh, yeah. But the little, the little baby penguin with the roll off the side of the edge. <laughs> I think they're starting the serial killer right there. You're getting a thrill off that, you know? But, all right. Well, yeah, the pictures look fantastic. I'm looking forward to this movie as long as, um, as much as you guys are, surprisingly. We got to start humming. I doubt Both that. Both at uh, 645 at 610. I right, you want to just get one more story in and fan no, questions? We, no, no, we, we have don't. time. Just don't. Okay, well. Don't, all right, next on the docket, we got Netflix announces full slate of movies. We got Knives Out 2. Um, what is it? How do, you, how do you say this first name again? Enola Holmes? Mm-hmm. Enola Holmes the second. Or <laughs> not the second. <laughs> See? I had it. I had it, too. Enola Holmes 2. Um, other movies. I mean, Ozark. The newest season of Ozark has just come out. Not a movie, but fantastic. Um, I'm going to dive into that in like two weeks. You got the new Catching Texas Ch- uh, Chainsaw Massacre coming out later out this month. Um, Ryan Reynolds will be in a new movie called The Atom Project, which um, it seems like it's going to be a time-traveling kind of uh, movie. But his name's Adam. Oh, okay. The Adam Project. A-T-O-M. Oh. So, I mean, out of all that that I just said, is there any that you're looking forward to? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really? Actually, no. Ozarks once I get caught up. I mean, I guess I, we can't really say anything about that because it's not, quote unquote, considered a movie. Well, I think Knives Out 2 is probably the most, like, 
I think the I most like anticipated one. one. A lot of people, Knives Out is like one of film Twitter's favorite movies. Is it really? Okay, yeah, people love Knives Out. I love Knives Out. That was like mid for me. It was it was good. It was fun to watch. I don't say mid. I don't know why I said mid. <laughs> That's TikTok coming out right there. <laughs> mid. Um, <laughs> I'm so I'm red now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think Knives Out too. I I, I think uh, Ryan Johnson shared like a little uh, gif earlier today. So with Gosling and. Uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry. There was like, because there's another movie coming out on Netflix. I don't know the name. The Gray Man? Yeah, The Gray Man. So that's coming out with Gosling and uh, Chris Evans. Mm -hmm. And that should be, that's Netflix as well, correct? Probably. Everything is fucking Netflix or. I think pound for pound, Netflix has got to be the best streaming service. Oh, yeah. 100%. HBO Max has the best library, but when it comes to like constantly coming out with new shows, series, movies, not even original movies, like they're they're very proactive in purchasing. Uh like like don't look up. Obviously that wasn't a Netflix brainchild, but they're throwing money and fun uh throwing money at other projects and I think, you know, they have a good blend. Obviously you still get the stinkers, right? Mm -hmm. But the red notices of the world are gonna pay for Killers of the Flower Moon, which is Martin Scorsese. And that's pretty awesome. But I, I mean, can't wait it, for that to come out. I think like if I'm going, if I want to watch a movie that's like out already or like that's been released years ago, like HBO Max is just deep. But Netflix like constantly setting the bar higher and higher. I mean, there's another one on Netflix. <laughs> Along with their prices, like, am I right? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> but I'm too. But like you said, they're they they put their stickers up, but their top tier shit is like on point. It's yeah. like must. It's must see. Yeah, it's it the took, chan like, took chances. Like Seven Prisoners is a. I think it's a Brazilian movie. I saw it. Like we, me and Bo saw a Tiff. We really liked. Like they were purchasing that. Obviously Roma a few years back. It's like they're not. Like they're actually like, you know, doing their part to actually get like prestige cinema and like better quality films out there as well. Uh, it doesn't mean people are going to watch them, but they're putting them on the platform. That's probably the most accessible out of all of them right now. So. But the, the Irishman was a Netflix original. That's crazy. I mean, not not original, but it yeah. premiered on Netflix. So, like, I always find that wild that they release it on the big screen and Netflix at the same time. You, well, they usually do the premiere and screens and theaters, like a soft premiere, right? Um, but it's just you need that too for Oscars and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but Another movie I didn't say. I'm sorry that uh, on Netflix that's coming out, which is one of the most wild names I've ever seen for a movie, is the woman in the house across out. the street from the girl in the window. Oh, Elaine is the, watching that right it's now. It's the uh, what's her ah uh, fuck. I can't think of her name. I see her right now. I, that's one of the most wild. I didn't even know it was out. So that's my bad. But that's how I get you. You know the names. I mean that name is ridiculous. Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Ah, Anola Holmes. I really enjoyed Anola Holmes the first one. I'm glad. I'm, I'm like actually looking forward to a sequel. Oh, you're looking forward to Anola Holmes the second. Anola Holmes the second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am an idiot. No, Anola Holmes is my mother. Now, is it really true? I I don't know if this because I'm extremely. I don't know if this is true. I'm extremely gullible. But is it really true that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes onto that bus and they said, "Don't try anything." Or you'll get canceled, or is that just a, a meme that they made? What are you talking Wait, about? What? So when they came out with a they came out with a thing with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre where everybody's on a bus and he comes on, and apparently like one guy says, I don't know if it's true, but they wrote at the bottom, try anything and you're gonna get canceled, and everybody has their phone out with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre coming onto the bus. Oh, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, like that's supposed to be like a, a joke in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh wow, cancel culture, man! You can't even go on a bus with a chainsaw anymore without the the Twitter mob coming. <laughs> yes, <through. laughs> you can't even kill anyone without being canceled. You know Jesus. what? <sighs> I I mean, if, if that's no, true, this movie's gonna be fucking terrible. Relax, yeah. you don't know that. I'm a big I'm a chainsaw. Buff. No, like the original is fucking insane, like fantastic. Yeah. One, one of the newer ones is really good. The one where they take like the the pictures just, in the basement. It's just Dude, slasher. Is, man. is that the one? Oh, it's just slasher. That's which one was the one where they had the the piano with the skin of the hooks on, and he pulled the piano key and ripped off the skin. Huh? Um, 
that's not the one where they cut the legs and dip it into the salt, do they? You know what fucking bothers me? No matter what, how many times I see it, like to my core, is every time I see someone's Achilles get cut. Oh god, yeah. Oof. Ah, oh, you're making me cringe now. Like is that the worst body part? I saw like uh, I watched a movie where that happened the other day, and like I was I just picture in my head right now. I just wanted to cry. Ah, you know, man, that's shout out to Troy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Netflix keep raising the prices. Well, I'm a sucker. I'm gonna keep keep. Me too. Let's keep re upping. Well, no, I use my mom, so who cares? I, I got that message. Netflix is raising the prices. Is, is this okay? Go ahead. <laughs> go. There you kind go. Of the top hat and cane and the monocle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I accept. It's like Elena taking the credit card. It's like, oh, Teddy, I'm going to buy this on your credit card. And go ahead, dear. You know, you just get, you can't say no. Yeah, I can't stop it. Yeah, no, no. But um, all right. So next um, order of business um, is Joseph Gordon Levitt. It's my favorite topic. Is going to be the cult leader in the new movie, Jim, or is it named Jim Jones? Let me start that over. Joseph Gordon let it. <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah, I, I, Joseph. I Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. It's my middle name too. Joseph Gordon Levitt has been cast as Jim Jones in the Jim Jones movie. Um, Jim Jones was a cult leader that had how many people was it? Nine hundred eighteen people basically kill themselves and convince them to do it. Have you, you guys ever that? read up on Jim Jones at all? Yeah, you can. It's horrible. Yeah, it's very awful. He's very convincing. I listened to a podcast called uh, Sword and Scale, and they did a whole episode on him. Mm, no free that's plugs. What happens to just like drink the Kool Aid? No free plugs. Yeah, that's like a popular phrase people yeah. say, and that's what that's that was his that was his move. Yeah, I'm just so fascinated how one guy this can start a cult. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get how people like it's gotta be get brainwashed into doing that. Charismatic drugs. What was the one? I just watched the one, uh, uh, Waco, Waco, and yeah, I watched one on Manson too. It's crazy. Can you you guys think you could run a cult? No, no. I'm not you know a psychopath, can, dude. You know how convincing. Yeah, you know how convincing you have to be. I'm to, not. Ca- I don't have enough charisma. I can't say a full our, sentence. You think bu- I can get people bu- to fucking? <laughs> <laughs> our buddy Jamie would be a great cult yeah, leader. Yeah, he would be. I think You're, he is. A, I think he is one. Yeah, can't say I've looked into any like Jim Jones pictures. He has like a big. He has a like puffy hair. He wears he has like mutton chops and black sunglasses. Hell yeah, um, yeah. I really don't know too much about Jim Jones. I just know obviously what what he did, which is you know, ah, like it's too much work running a cult. I feel like, what's the benefit of running a cult? Yeah. Oh, I could totally see that. I think that's a fantastic have, casting. What do you mean? You have not you have a thousand people worshiping you, doing whatever you say. But he's like. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, yeah. If you look at Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I'd be like, yeah, you know, it's a good-looking guy. You know, I can see why. He looks like shit. And that's it. Oh, the side-by-side side with DiCaprio. I'm joining I guess a cult. DiCaprio was in line to play this, too. If I'm joining a cult, I want the leader to be at least, like, a good-looking guy or a girl. I mean, he probably was good-looking back in the day. Yeah, that's, like, good-looking for back in the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? That's true. You know? But, like I mean, that's gotta, you got to give him some... Jared Leto has a cult. Is that true? Yeah. I'm, I don't know if I'm like <laughs> he has a cult look it up he, I hate Jared Leto apparently not everyone because he's got people to join his cult well it's, God, so it's incredible well, if you're obviously out of the cult I would join it yeah but like I could see I could ah, see you know what appeal. I gotta say I kind of agree with that I, I can kind of see where people will go yeah but you gotta give him credit I mean sure he might be we're not giving Jim Jones credit here <laughs> no. I, I mean give him his due no we're not giving him his due that's incredible for him to convince 918 people to drink this Kool-Aid that they know is going to kill them. It was a test. What, to see if they're loyal? Yeah. No. Leto responded to reports that his band's fan base was a cult by styling himself after Jesus. <laughs> That's the worst headline I've ever heard in my no, life. Oh, God. So it's not a, he, doesn't, he doesn't lead a cult. It's his band, and he thinks his band's fan like base is a cult. It's kind of groupies, yeah. a groupie cult. But he also played into it and dressed like Jesus with a white, white like robe and I hate the him. long hair. I hate him. I just I don't know. Everything I see him in, he's just god awful. I don't think he's a bad actor, but he definitely pisses me off. And I mean, Thirty Seconds of Mars is kind of a great band. I might join that cult actually. <laughs> um, you know what I'm in, son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> you know what, God damn it. Um, I think now looking at Jim Jones, I think that casting is pretty spot on. I think that uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt could nail that look. He's kind of had a bit of a hi- not a hiatus, but 
What was the last thing he was in? Snowden. Was it Snow? No, he definitely did something after that. That was the last thing I seen with him in it. Oh, what about Don John? <laughs> good movie. It was a good movie. Don John was his last. No, two thousand. Yeah, thirteen. Don John. That's not his last movie. No way. He was in Knives Out. Snowden was his last. Snowden. Yeah. Twenty sixteen. Oh. Shit. Wow. Well, Teddy, don't look at it right. <clears throat> Why? I'll show you how to look. Up. Oh, you're looking at the like basically that's like it's the like popularity. The, yeah. Of what movie. like what you know him from? You go to IMDb. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're getting a oh, tutorial here. Terrible service. This is where I got. It. This is where I got it. filmography. We are getting Actor. a tutorial here on how to use IMDb, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This is where I get better. This Trial Chicago. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, how did I not know that? What movie? Trial Trial of Chicago Seven. Oh, okay. I do remember that. But then anything after that? I mean, no. He's been in things, but I don't think he's been like he had a he had a hell of a run. Remember, you ever see Fifty Fifty? That was a sad movie. Oh, that's when he has cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Fifty Fifty. Is it him and Seth Rogen? Yeah. I think I did see that. I thought it was going to be hilarious. Oh, no. Like, like oh, funny Seth, people? Seth I... Rogen in the two th <laughs> in the early 2000s. This is going to be a riot. Oh, yeah. See, Seth Rogen tried to do his Oscar, <laughs> his Oscar uh, performance. and it's Too just, early. It, yeah. yeah. It, it just didn't work. It doesn't work. No, there were some funny parts. I'm sh no, Oscar worthy? <laughs> yeah, Oscar worthy. Well, like I said, I saw the picture of Jim Jones. I think that my boy uh, JGL could nail it. You like that? Instead no. of saying Joseph and stumbling, it's, yeah, there you go, stumbling over names. Well, Chloe Grace Moretz is going to be in it, and I like her. She's on the okay. fan. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sure. That's not. Yeah, I would like to see that casting because I don't know what that woman looks like that she's playing. Um, who's she playing? She is playing, uh, Layden. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming that was Jim Jones's main bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. All right. From one cult to another, uh, I guess the next topic that we'll bring up is uh, Roland Emmerich says that Star Wars, Marvel, and DC are ruining movies. Hell yeah. What else is new? Another director coming out and saying that. I got to get your thoughts movies. about this, Aaron. Well, Roland Emmerich, he's actually a, um, a close personal friend of mine. <laughs> oh, yeah? He liked one of my tweets once. Did he really? Yeah. So what how the hell did you pull that off? I tweeted about his new movie coming out, Moonfall. The movie oh, so you're where, biased, so we can't take what you're going to say the right movie, now. Where the moon, where moon allegedly falls. Take what he says with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. High cinema. And if you buy a ticket to Moonfall coming out <laughs> this Thursday in IMAX theaters, you get a free NFT, which is true. Is it really? I got a notification from Regal saying that if I get an IMAX ticket to Moonfall, I get a free NFT. Do I do it? It's be my only NFT. It's going to be own. a Moonfall NFT, and it's probably not going to be worth dick. No. You don't know that. That movie looks horrendous. The moon falls. Isn't there? There's like a colony in the moon, isn't there? Or is aliens in the moon? It's a movie where the moon falls. Yeah, right, we're getting off topic. No, this is the topic because Star Wars, <laughs> Disney, and DC and Marvel are destroying movies. Oh, and he puts out this fucking. And moon falls coming out this weekend. <laughs> well, the whole thing that he said was the creativity. A movie where the moon falls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I guess if he if he like put out like folks a, look up in the sky if it's night out right now. <laughs> you see the thing? You the see that thing, the thing? That's the moon. What Not, if that fell? <laughs> then it would be moon fell. Oh yeah, um, that's, that's the sequel, Nash. Oh shit. Yeah, I mean if he if, uh -huh. if he just dropped like but as a good as a friend, yes, I agree with him. If he dropped like Goodwill Hunting and he said this, I guess what he said would have merit. I mean, he's but, made some like real, like Independence Day. I think is yeah, the day after tomorrow, twenty twelve, and then he made. He's literally making these movies. He's made. <laughs> he's making disaster movies. Yeah, and where's the creativity in that? I mean, he's just making all disaster 2012? movies. Are you kidding? Yeah, I mean it's riding the hype train. Don't get me wrong. I kind of like those movies. I like just seeing destruction of like the earth and like what can actually happen the rock was one of those um what was it day after was tomorrow called. no not day after tomorrow um L los angeles it was in los angeles yeah i mean like i think like just because maybe he doesn't have the like the pedigree of a scorsese 
you can't discredit what he's saying because, you know, you can argue that maybe it is definitely harder to get, I don't know if it's harder, but you could see in a world where all these movies are making the most money that you could see where why studios wouldn't maybe allocate a lot of their resources to smaller projects and more creative projects and kind of, um, you know, not letting some of these projects ever see the light of day. So you could talk about that, but like, you know, when it comes down to it, like, ah, is the moon like the, the moon's falling <laughs> that's your that's your idea these movies are like quote unquote like making it harder to get creative movies out there but big but blockbusters the moon is <laughs> you made a movie about the moon falling <laughs> but big blockbusters and it is out the there it's being got... promoted with nfts which is pretty gimmicky <laughs> if you ask me i mean it's creative i guess you know that's nfts are the new hot thing that's a way to attract some people i mean the nft like Teddy you said, almost bought a fucking ticket right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly you know <clears throat> i just i hate that he turns around and says that and this is coming from somebody that for the 15th million time hates superhero movies but for him to turn around and say that dc marvel you know or sci-fi movies like star wars is ruining Hollywood because how happy was DC he thinks like yeah us too <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no yeah we're in this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah um I just it's it's comedic because it, what creativity has this guy done when his track record is just basically all movies that are just natural disasters or you know uh, I don't know where's Try- the creativity in that you're basically doing the same thing that they do they're just more successful exactly than you. you know that's just you're being a baby you're taking your ball home and crying. No, like I said, I think that, like you can take. It's obviously a little bit more nuanced, and you could take what he's saying. Like with, you know, you can obviously roll your eyes at it, but there can still be some truth. I think a lot of even what Scorsese said, even though I'm like, all right, enough already. Who gives a fuck? Like, stop crying about it. And but when you read into it and think about their thought process and kind of see what's going on, there's definitely, you know, some val- like valid points they're making. Well, yeah, because if you if you just look at it without any skin in the game. With and these, a lot of with times these Marvel movies, they the, are just getting their shit off of yeah. source material. It's not like it, it is that creative, but the creativity comes with the writing. And There's a lot how of creativity. Make, yeah, and how you make these characters come to life. And a lot of it, too, is the questions being asked by these publications and the articles they and what they choose to put on their headlines. Exactly. And then a lot of people take that, they'll see that. Scorsese says Marvel movies are theme park rides. I read that, I'm like, fuck you, old man. <laughs> Thanks for Goodfellas, but your time's well, it's like when, yeah, when, suck on this egg. But it's like when Big Ben said, uh, but with the the Chiefs playoff game, how he said that like the team shouldn't even show up. He was saying that tongue in cheek, and they just took what he said, and right. that's all you saw. Oh no, right? Scorsese's yeah. serious. But <laughs> yeah. but like when you like actually read what the point he's trying to make, you can be like, okay, yeah, maybe that kind of makes sense, and maybe you don't agree with it fully, but yeah. you know, this is never gonna stop. Everyone's like superhero fatigue, Star Wars fatigue. It's been we've been talking that for years, and. Look at what fucking Spider-Man just did. But it, like I said, there it's kind of like the creativity of you just making the same... Where's the creativity in your shit? You're making oh, a disaster movies. Have you ever seen a movie where the moon fell? <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Moonfall. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I never even heard of anything about the moon falling. But... And then, again, with Scorsese, everything's gangster movies. I mean... I mean, he seemed like... The tweet I made was very... Because it was the people, like, cheering when the Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield came in Spider-Man in the movie theater. And my tweet was, when the moon fall, finally falls in the movie Moonfall. Like, obviously making fun of it. And he liked it. So I feel like oh. he has a good... You know, he's a good sport about it. I guess. Or maybe he... Well, he was just like... Pfft. Maybe he's so egomaniacal. Right, <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's so to blow maniacal. your fucking dicks off when when this moon falls. You're gonna remember where you were yeah. when you saw that goddamn moon in the sky plummet the, towards Earth. The fucking theater's gonna shake when that shit comes down. <clears throat> I want to yeah. see that shit in 4D. Oh my god! Imagine the mo- the moon falling in 3D though. 4D. <laughs> Forget Bro, about you it. You know all. what should happen? Imagine no one sees it in IMAX. And I get the only NFT. Buy a ticket, Ted. Get the NFT. It might be a good shot that that happens. You have, <laughs> you have the Regal Unlimited, so I can get a free ticket. They get a free NFT. Yeah. Do I want to waste a free movie though on that? No. It's literally unlimited. I don't know how this app works. I get like one a week or one a month. No, like you get as many as you want. I get as many as I want to yeah. go see. It's unlimited. How much do you pay a month for that? Twenty like something. Twenty five, I think. I keep getting banged for that. Well, I'll tell you what. That if actually, you, IMAX is a surcharge. I keep so forgetting about like the, six bucks. Every month, I keep saying oh. I cancel it, and I keep forgetting. And I check my account, and I see Regal. Fuck. Why is it <laughs> well, always the something? Month. These surcharges and bullshit. I hate that. 
Just be straight up. Be like, yo, we're going to charge you six bucks. Yeah, Netflix might go up in price, but they let you know. Yeah. They're not <laughs> going to dick it. you around. They're going to say, hey, it. do you accept this? You know? Oh, we'll give you free movies, $25 a month, and then you go to buy it. And then, oh, well, here's an extra $6 because, you know, we have to put it on your phone. You know what I feel bad about? When Wikipedia asked me for money. Because, like, they help me out so much. It's probably one of the most useful resources I use. And it's bullshit. And I won't give them a fucking cent. No. But you know what people... They're begging me. uh, Then I scroll and it's like, please... And they they come up again. It's like, just for a price of a cup of coffee. When I think about it like that, it's like, yeah, you're right. Like, you're really useful to me, but I still don't give them a dime. So you're not one of these people that give money to, like... I mean, they have all the money in the world, but homeless people... Homeless people have all the money in the world. <laughs> no, I'm saying like Wikipedia does. Not apparently not if they're asking me for two fifty. They they're mooching. They're mooching. I mean that's that's ridiculous. No, I give money if I have cash. I just never have cash on me, so I'll give you know if someone needs a dollar, I give them a dollar. I full out bought this guy a sandwich, beer, and water one time. I felt so bad for this guy. I was like, what are you going to spend this money on? You're not doing drugs, right? No, sir. I just want a beer and Don't you know, his fucking parents. Why would you press him like that? Well, he comes up to me asking for my money. I want to know what the hell I'm giving it for. I'm not giving it for Let drugs. Do what he wants. No, I'm not giving money for drugs. I would want him to use it on drugs. Be happy. Why? Because you're homeless. You're like, like, just do something that makes you happy. Dude, I, I gave saw him a video. beer. Do I saw a video today in uh, NYC? People, <laughs> uh, there were two homeless guys on the on a train sleeping, minding their own business, and this guy, like, abruptly goes on there and wakes them up, like, screaming at them to get off the train. Just a random guy, yeah, or like, like a train a random, random guy. It got me so mad. Business. People don't. Yeah. People don't mind their business anymore. All the comments was That's this the guy. Problem. All the comments were this guy is clearly not from New York because New Yorkers just leave him alone and like let him be. Yeah, of course. Like, other guys, this, this guy had a dog with him. I felt so bad. Yeah, it's it's terrible. But all right, let's um, I, I guess get the fan questions. Yeah, fan questions. Let's get off this grim topic and. <laughs> You know, because I think me and Teddy are going to be homeless soon enough with this How do you figure? DraftKings. I'm winning. I'm taking a beating. But not really. <laughs> not really. All right. DraftKings is that meme? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. The meme is DraftKings behind me. I'm like, I'm winning right now. Yeah, I, I hope you end up homeless and someone asks you what you're using the money for. <laughs> I don't want to tell them the truth. I, I, but you're in this I'm scenario, sorry. You're I, super addicted to drugs now. Again, now. I, I just want to make sure. Is that. Okay. I wanted to make sure. And I gave him like $15. I just wanted to make sure I bought him, like I said, a sandwich. I got him beer. It's not like I didn't completely cut him off, but I don't want him to do the hard stuff, like heroin. Well, I just wanted to... some weed. Well, then, come on. Then say, oh, I just want to smoke some weed. Tell me the truth. Let's just be, you know, up front with each other. You know? That's all I'm asking. If you're homeless, that's all I'm asking. Just tell me what you're going to use the money on. Just don't tell me heroin, right. and then I'm not giving you the money. Do you. Yeah, I will do me. It's my money, motherfucker. That's for the fan to decide. Yay! People, you call up to the show, you better be ready. That's what you're supposed to do. Sitting there arguing and you're trying to spell your name and all of this other stuff. It's not just show, it's my show. I'm giving you the, the opportunity to speak your mind. Don't call up here unless you got something to say. All right, to fan questions we go. Um, I don't. Do you guys want to do the fan questions because they're kind of biased because my name is in the tweet itself? Saying that I'm hosting, or do you guys just not matter if because there's a lot to Nash, to Nash, Nash. Go fucking nuts. Okay, well I'll start off with this. Last time you'll be on, I knew I'm joking. Yeah, probably. (laughs) The way I have been today, I'm fuck. I'm awful. Um, We're gonna start off with Beth. By the way, Beth, uh, congratulations on your baby. Big fan. Oh wow! Congratulations. They they had the baby, um, like I think like six, seven months ago. Oh wow! You're really timely. Well, I <laughs> have I had the chance to, to say you could have congratulations. Said it last week on the pod. Well, her, could have tweeted. Yep. Uh, well, me and her f- spoke, and her husband. They were talking about naming the baby Nash. Oh no! So yeah, don't. No, let, they weren't. Yeah. I, okay. Let them. You know, they'll tweet me and they'll say. But Beth asks, speaking about babies' names, name Teddy's baby. <laughs> Teddy. T- just Teddy. Teddy. The girl. <laughs> I know. Teddy with an eye. Ooh, that's <laughs> that's not bad. I, I like don't that. like it. That's not bad. I don't like it. I'm gonna go Helena. We have a name. You have a name? What is it? Care to announce? Breaking news. You uh, not well, Bo. Uh, we'll tell him later. Cut that out. But oh, so you don't want that in? You don't no. want that in? No, okay. I don't want that ah. in. 
You know what would be a good name? <laughs> All right, cut that out, too. I'll cut out Teddy Snap's name, but, like, <laughs> kind of weird. Adolf is a weird name to go with. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why he wanted that. I wasn't a fan of it. Elena likes it, so. <laughs> well, it, I like it. All right, so Charlie asks, what's a food that you didn't like as a kid, but now you can't get enough of? Ooh. Vice versa. I have a lot of them. Burnt broccoli. Crispy broccoli is a good, but yeah. I always liked broccoli. Deep fried broccoli. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> just dripping in grease. <laughs> Um, I think most vegetables like cauliflower I love now Me yeah uh, oatmeal I'm a big fan of oatmeal I have oatmeal I'm I always love oatmeal me too you know what food I hated when I, I actually threw up my table and just imagine like 130 pound like third grader you mm. know I was yeah. huge, like I said I used to rest my tits on the desk you weren't 130 pounds I, in third I, grade he was a big boy I was huge bro I was ginormous I was eating nothing but bacon American actually, cheese with, and chips I think I was 150 in fifth grade yeah, and you got stuck in a swing. I did. <laughs> um, string beans. Ew. I don't like string My beans. My aunt's like, you beans. need to eat string beans. I love string beans now, but especially breaded string beans. Oh, sushi. Oh. Sushi. I, I just wouldn't eat it, but now I do. Like, I, like I, I don't know if I didn't like it. I just like, eh, you raw fish. Yeah. Um, it was funny, though. The string beans, I just, <laughs> I just threw up right at the table. <laughs> eggs, I was never an egg person. What? You hate eggs, right? I eat them now. I still don't like them, but I eat them now. Pancakes. You hate now? I don't. No, I, I, I didn't like when I was a kid. Really? I didn't hate them, but like I was never like. But now, like I fucking love. And pancakes. you were a chunky monkey as well. Yeah. You know, we all used to be really fat. Shout out to diets, diets, and health, and cauliflower. Yeah, and eggs. Um, what's a food that you loved and now hate? I don't really have one because I only I guess the only thing I ate when I was younger and just never bothered me but now I hate is coconut uh, absolutely hate coconut I like coconut flavored coconut. things I don't like coconut I can't do coconut yeah, like, flavored I have I don't, I don't like coconut citrus. water really I don't like oranges I like, love orange juice don't like oranges don't like pineapples don't like yeah just don't, oh, don't so, work for me what it too acidic for you it just doesn't do it, it for me tummy uh huh or your throat. You have anything, Ted? That I cheese and mayo sandwiches. Do you <laughs> still like them? Love them. <laughs> Man, if I ever started a deli I spoon, mayo. I was a weird kid. I didn't like like I ate pizza, but I didn't like it. Or I would take the cheese off. I was strange. I could spoon eat mayo. <laughs> <laughs> that it, 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 you can. You can. Oh, I can. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It is an incredible feat. Um, okay, the next question comes from Obi-Wan-J. Um, I'm not going to say it's J4. I guess I will. J4375079. Would you rather control every animal that you come across in your life? Or He doesn't say in your life, but whatever. Or be able to get away with any lie? Oh, God, that's tough. That's a great question. That's amazing. I lie a lot, and I'd love to deal with it <laughs> every time. I... You're not a good liar, though. I'm a great liar. No, you're not. Like, everybody sees through you. We just but let that's you get like away my, with murder. That's like my favorite power that I've always wanted was to talk to animals. Yeah. And it's so funny that we're we're playing Pokemon currently at the moment, and it's like, imagine being able to talk, like, just to a squirrel, catch a squirrel. You learn so the... much. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Look, I would love to sit. Oh, they meant Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to animals. Control animals or talk to them? Control. Oh, control. 100%. There's so much more like usefulness to it. Imagine getting away with every lie. Anytime you told someone something, they believed you. But like, well, how far does that get you? You can change the truth. But then that starts to fuck with you. Like you can change like yeah, history. Well, you're not going to know what's true and what's not. Yeah. I'm doing that right now. Like, does it apply to everybody? So if I if I tweet. George Washington actually wasn't the first president. Yeah, and everybody believed you. We'll put it into that that stance. That's part of the question, yeah. I, I don't want all that power. I could change his like I can no, literally you can change history. For the better? I don't know. But I want to know how to apply it. Yeah, too much. Uh, yeah, to when you get it, to, see to when you get into the that, animals, like, controlling the animals. Yeah, control the animals would be great. Like imagine just like I'll make like a bunch of birds block the sun out when it's hot and just like float over me. Mm. Yeah, but then you're gonna kill them. Then they'll get too hot. They'll, they'll be like, hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's fucking hot over here. <laughs> like, I mean, right, take a break. I mean, you're basically a cult leader of the birds. Oh, yeah. 
Well, then it's a moral question. Are you taking away these animals' free will? Yeah, but... I'll take the animal powers. Oh, you, you're going to get Good away question, from... no, yeah. Well, are you lying now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Am I... Fuck. What if I can lie, like, everybody... See, I don't even know how to... Fr- freeze. Imagine being be... in school. Freezing. Everything you freeze has, is Imagine super important. Imagine being in school and the teacher asks you if you, ask you, if you did It's like when you make a deal with a bevel yeah. and you think it's all working out, but they take, like, those little loopholes and you end up being fucked over. Yeah. And it turns out to be a terrible deal. That's what the line... I, I feel like you can get in too much trouble. You don't know what's going on. Good movie script. I'll tell you what. That's one of the better questions I've ever heard. Good job. Good Come job. to pretzel. Yeah. That, I mean, we've, we were going through some mental battles there. But, all right. So, I don't know how you're going to top this one, but Fook Sergio asks, what's your go-to pickup line? I'm very curious to know this. Like, I haven't said one in, like, Pickup lines are seven useless. Years. Who's ever, like, used a pickup line? Like, let's say back in your Tinder days. What was the, the go-to? Hey. Because I'd be like, oh, I, my, hey, that's it? You were just the hey guy? I, f- I, found, I, f- I find those to be ridiculous. Oh, uh, something about some innuendo or something clever. Something in your window? <laughs> I said innuendo. <laughs> oh, I thought so you said really- I, you're stalking this? No, 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 whoa. Um, it's one way to get it. Just have a fucking conversation. And if, like, you're good, you're good. If not, then fuck off. But sometimes they like to be smoothed a little bit, you know? My my go-to, which Why is... Why are you trying that hard? I mean, you have to when you're 5'7 and chubby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I look like fucking Toucan Sam. What do you expect? I My go-to line was, I didn't know supermodels used blank. Tinder, Bumble, Hinge. And that's so I would, I would, I honestly would... They'd be like, I, think, I don't know, I would hate myself if, if I did that. It's worked a couple times. I would just be like, this is... Uh, you I, think no, I'm no, happy no. even being it, on the app anybody, itself? Because if anyone responded to that like and like took it like, oh, that was smooth, I'd be like, yeah. there's something wrong with this person. Yeah, they have, actually. And I would be like... You think would, I'm proud? They take it more as a joke, though. They don't mm. take it like, it's serious. Yeah. It's not that funny. Oh, excuse me. Be like, hey, but, hey, but, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, hey. Nothing much, you? Nothing, just chilling. Okay, see Okay, you. bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, to the next question we go. Um, this is from Luke Carney, um, at Luke Carney 16. Um, you could keep one of the MLB, NBA, NFL, the other two can never watch again. Which one are you keeping? Wait, wait, wait go back. Sorry. You could keep one of the, well, this is how he words it, but you can I keep one of the two. Yeah, if you can keep either the MLB, NBA, or NFL. You have to keep one and get rid of two. Which one are you getting rid of? Or which two are you getting rid of? Keeping football. Keeping football. You're keeping football? Yeah. I think I'm doing the NBA. Because I watch it religiously, so. And it still doesn't help me out. But you guys said that, like, with no, like, hesitation. I wouldn't think twice. Me football either. is, like, it's football's just king. the best. Basketball, second. Baseball, third. But, like. Now, would that throw a little if you bit? Want, if you want to, like. If you want to argue that like baseball and basketball would be the better picks because there are more games, yeah. thus keeping you entertained longer, I think that's valid as well. Mm-hmm. But it seems like hockey's still around, so I can just do hockey and football and be fun. True, but that, that was my next question. To throw in a monkey wrench, would you keep the NHL over NFL? No. Because you're like a huge Islander fan, so. I, the Jets are my number one. Okay. All right. Um, Which is fucking depressing. Can I take one? Let me see. Sure. You two talk much yourself. I mean, yeah, the Jets. I mean, but hey, Zach Wilson might do what Joe Burrow's doing, you know? Never give up hope. Yeah. You know? Tears ACL. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. What? That's worse than talking about Paul Walker. No, it's not. You don't talk about torn ACLs with athletes. That's terrible. I always, I don't love, like, I don't root for injuries. I don't think it's, I think it's sad when people get injured and it sucks. But people react. Like, people, like, are fucking dying. Why don't you read it, Ted? I don't know how to say his name. Neither do I. <laughs> I have read it. Hamaro? I think that's how you I say it. I thought it was uh, Homero. Hamaro. Yeah. Or Hamaro, right? Who has the most punchable face in the Nerd Soup crew? Nah. What are you guys Him? looking at? Him, right? Yeah. Yeah, Nash. Well, why me? <laughs> that's not a bad... Like, I think people just have punchable faces. And if you want to say the most punchable, you... 
I mean, I guess I can't I wanna disagree. I want to knock your block off when I can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes I just look at you and it's like, I just want to beat this shit out of you. I mean, when it comes to attitude-wise, it's got to be Aaron, right? Yeah. If we did it that way. Well, what do you mean? You're like the, you're like a douche sometimes. What am I a douche? You're kind of just a douche. Sometimes you come off very, like, yeah. arrogant. You're doing really good today, though. I thought without Bo here, you're going to be a real douche, but... No, he's been... I've been terrible. No, you're, this you're whole, doing I'm like the... This whole... You're doing good. Hosting thing has been awful. I'm like the nicest one here. Yeah. In your bra. When you want to be. I'm... Oh. So you guys I'm, give I'm, it... You I'm can't the nicest take it. by far. It's my face. You know how many people have come up to me and they say, Oh, I thought you were going to be a you're dick. You're so fake it hurts. What do you mean? I'm I've not been told fake I, at all. You, you, this is all charade that you put on. <laughs> this is not a charade. It's because of how negative we are. You try and be like no, over-positive. that's bullshit. Yeah. That's bullshit. I like fuck around at you guys, but like that's really it. Yeah, you think I'm saying it to like any coworkers? What I say to you guys or anybody exactly. outside our friend group? I mean, that's just I'm kind of like to be around. When you drink, you're very fun. I have to say that, but sober, you're almost <laughs> as boring as <laughs> I, I mean. Ah, uh, thanks. Whatever. But I really have the most punchable face. Is that why it's just I, like it's not like anything you could do about it. It's just some people have punchable faces. What what makes up a punchable face? Just the look. <laughs> just the look. Yeah, you can't really describe it. <laughs> no, it's like. You, but when you, it's like I don't know how to describe a punchable face, but when I see one, I just want to punch it. Right. Yeah. Okay. I guess it is kind of weird that. You got a fan question, Ted? Yeah. This question from Kevin Myers. We're going to adjust it a little bit because it's more towards you. It says, Nash, what's your favorite kind of movie to watch? But we'll throw it to the to us. Well, he was asking me. <laughs> what's it, your favorite kind of movie to watch? He's literally asking him. Well, I know, but we'll ma- make it for us. Yeah, I guess the panel could join in, but it's my question. So my you started off favorite with... favorite kind of movie? I'm more of a psychedelic kind of movie that's just going to fuck me up. <laughs> or a more of a comedy guy. Like category. You had to watch one last movie. What kind of movie would you watch? Genre? Yeah. I like the... I think I'm watching a horror movie. Oh. Really? Yeah, get the heart going. I like a, dr- like a dramedy. Get the adrenaline going. You are great to watch a horror movie with. Because your reactions she, are... She screamed out loud during yeah. it, too. His reactions are great. Uh, yeah, in my defense, that was a fucking scary scene. Sure. And I like a, like, a, like a nice dramedy. Hits hits every beat. Makes you laugh. Makes you cry. Makes you think. Who wants to cry though? In the last movie you can watch. But like maybe a happy tear. I guess. Oh, so this is the last movie I'm ever gonna watch. I'm you just changed the question. I didn't change. I'm just trying to make you it so changed, you guys you're understand. Like, you're asking question. your own question, here, aren't you? <laughs> it's like if you're in death row, which movie would you watch? Yeah, essentially. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a different question. I probably watch Dumb and Dumber. On death when you're death row, before yeah. you get the chair. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would watch like Lord of the Rings or something. I think someone actually did that. You would milk out your time. <laughs> She's like, give me all three, please. Extended edition, please. <laughs> That's a good so, question. I'm, I'm gonna die tomorrow. Just let me watch. Yeah, come on. Let me just finish the trilogy. Jesus. What are you eating on Death Row? Oh, I think about this all the time. You know they changed Death Row's like what you can eat because of one person. He he got like, I don't know what he got like specifically, but he got a lot of shit and he didn't eat any of it. He didn't touch his food? No. He ruined it for the rest of us. Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. So now there's a limit on what you can get. <laughs> Picture just fucking Jimmy on the next cell block and for triple homicide. Oh, you're ruining it for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you screwed me. Are you yeah. kidding me? me over. What I have a whole chicken parm dish That's lined what, up. What a he dick. Got like, he got, like, chicken parm. He got, like, KFC, burgers, ice cream. He got so much shit. Because like, I wouldn't want it because, like, there's so many different things that I would crave. Especially being in jail for that long. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like in the moment kind of thing. Like right now, if I was on death row, I'd get mozzarella sticks. Straight up, just like a whole like half a batch of mozzarella sticks and just tee off. But like... I don't know what I would get. Maybe chicken parm. I mean, would you want to have that like feeling in your stomach before you get electrocuted? <laughs> you know how they say like, like, you sh- oh. like you shit your pants when you die? Yeah. Is that true? I, th- I think so. So I would be like, fuck you guys for killing me. I'm going to eat the worst, <laughs> disgusting thing ever. So when I, you know, nice when shellfish. I shit my pants, when, nice I, shellfish oh, dinner. <laughs> when I die, good luck cleaning this up. Clean my poopy pants. Yeah. <laughs> Clean my dead, dead poopy, poopy pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> dead poopy pants. Wow. Um, I feel like if I got the chair, I'd be one of the ones that like the chair went wrong and it fucking burned me alive. 
like in um, Green Mile. Yeah. And he would just be twitching out yeah. the whole time. Which, if you could pick from any of the execution methods, what would you go? Hanging. It's literally the worst yeah, fucking way to go. That's gotta hurt. What do you mean? You don't feel it. It just snaps your neck, no? If not right away, then you fucking strangle to death. Yeah. Okay. I'd probably do lethal you injection. You feel the fucking... Brendan no, Fraser no, that's, got that's hanging the, the mummy and he was able to survive. That's the most painful thing. Really? really? Yeah. Lethal injection... I listened to the, the Sword and Scale podcast. Did a, well, they how would they ban know? Lethal, yeah, exactly. How would they, they know? They want to ban lethal injections because they messed up and they don't. it doesn't kill you. It sedates you. I guess the guy messed up. I mean, that's why they want to ban it, but you don't die right away. Just because some one quack messed he in, up? He in, injected the wrong fluid into him and it paralyzed him and it was a burning sensation. Like he was burning from the inside out. <laughs> and he was paralyzed, so he couldn't say nothing. Or I would. I've, I've, I've actually said this before. The gu- I'm a fan of the guillotine. Oh, you're going old school. I would, yeah, you want to go old school. I wouldn't mind the guillotine. Guillotine. Nice you know quick. that you're... Ned you're, Stark? Ned Stark way? That's more executioner, but I want like the whole con- contraction. Contraption. Like pull the string and the blade comes down. And... Can you do like a whole sh- like show too? Have like the whole town come watch? Yeah, I want everyone Maybe to be like... Nice bucket. <laughs> everyone's like booing. <laughs> nice whisk bucket. Everyone's yeah. booing me because like everyone thinks I'm a bad guy. Like, but you really didn't do it. Bring me his head, bring me yeah. his head. Except for like my small group of people who know and they're crying. They're the only ones in the crowd crying because they know. Were you a bad guy though? Or no? It depends you who you ask. Do you want to be the bad guy that you got killed? the king, yes, because I, you no, know. In your own, like, for your own, do you want to be the bad guy that gets killed, or do you want to be the innocent that got killed? And you, like, set, like, Does, the... Who knows the truth? You. Only you. Yeah, but well, your family believes you, you but they don't the know that you. I want to be the good guy. Recording a movie. What are you, what are you saying? Do I want to earn the death? Yeah. To go out and bang? Yeah. It would suck being innocent and just getting your head chopped off. <laughs> yeah. You know that they say that like I could justify. It's like, all right, kind of sucks that you guys are gonna kill me, but I kind of deserve it because I, did do it, it, yeah, I like, exactly. murdered eight people. Yeah, but now you're getting the guillotine because you recorded something in a movie theater and you released it. Piracy. That's why they're giving you the guillotine. I mean, that's what happened in uh, in North Korea, right? They're pretty much killing people for listening to BTS or some shit. Like- no, no, what was it? It was a uh, Squid Game, right? Didn't they? Yeah, people dropped in Squid Game and they got executed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so You know um, that your brain like stays alive for like seven minutes after your head gets cut off? Yeah. And it was like What do you think they're thinking? Like, whoa. Well <laughs> damn. <laughs> what a view. Um No, because there was actually like one guy that said if you can um still understand blink when your head gets cut off and the person was blinking. Probably twitching out. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You can't. Probably. <laughs> but I mean who knows? Who knows the answer, you know? Because if it really did, I guess it's just the oxygen releasing out of. But I don't know. So you would do guillotine. Guillotine, would, yeah. I mean, rightfully done. I would do lethal injection. And Teddy, you would. What a firing squad. Just get popped off on. Yeah. With the bag over my head and shot, or lining up against the wall. Getting lined up on the wall. And oh. Are you getting stoned to death? I yeah. think that is a fantastic way to end this podcast. <laughs> I think not, not really. Oh, well. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think we're a little over time anyway. But um, it's been a pleasure hosting. I mean, I'm still extremely nervous, and I think I did absolutely awful. But thank you for bearing with me, this everybody that's sucks. listening. Yeah, this is going to be terrible. And, guys, thank you for dealing with me. I feel bad for Bo having listened to this back. Oh, to it's going to be and... awful. I would much rather edit a podcast that I'm not on. Really? To yeah. hear your voice? Oh, it's yeah, It's, it's fucking terrible. nightmarish. Bo, if you make it this far... Uh, I'm, you probably have to, but don't forget to bleep out it. Yeah. The name. Um, well, what's the big surprise? Everyone's going to know soon enough anyway. Yeah, I know, but she doesn't want it out yet. The baby? <laughs> yeah, and, and the name. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, it's been a pleasure doing this. Um, until next time, I hope your bellies are full from all the soup, babies. Oh, yeah. Fucking starving. Want to so eat? I didn't eat today. Let's go eat something. Outback? Damn. We were making some good points in that video. Hey guys, Aaron and Nerd Soup Monkey here. Before we end this video, I want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters. What can I say about you guys that I haven't already said about myself? You are the most important part of the channel and the main reason we keep going strong. Like Bo says, you keep the lights on in the fridge, so the fridge is full. Or, or something like that. So, from everyone here at Nerd Soup, I'd like to thank you guys for your continued support. If you're interested in joining the ranks of our patron supporters, head over to patreon.com slash nerdsoup and check out the rewards we offer to our patrons. 
We recently dropped some new stickers for you guys to check out, or you could choose a tier that will allow you to select a movie, show, or video game for us to review. We've got a full slate of fan-suggested reviews coming your way, and we're really excited about the chance to review some of those movies and shows. We've also got t-shirts, mugs, behind-the-scenes videos showing how we bring our videos to life. And once again, thank you to all our Patreon pledgers who have been supporting us throughout the years. Without you, we wouldn't be able to convert all your pledges into cryptocurrency, so thank you from my future self for making us rich.